What is up guys, it's Jack, and today I'm giving you a little workbench tour and a wiring <clears throat> tip video for like brushed and brushless ESC receiver, motor, battery, and servo. So let's get to it. So yeah, this is my setup. Bring it down closer. So here I have my receiver, battery, battery servo, a 5800 kV brushless motor. I salvaged out of a 118th scale Mad Pulse drift car from Nitro RCX for close to $100. So check that RC car out. I really like it. But it's been a while since then, and it broke. It was my fault because I got run over by a car. So. And luckily nothing like this was damaged. And so we got ESC. And we're going to wire it up today. So let's get to it. Okay guys, we are back and I got the transmitter. So this is the generic Exceed RC transmitter. And so, yeah, it's just standard 2.4 gigahertz. comes with every Exceed RC car now. And this is the receiver for it, for it, the servo that came with it, battery, motor, and ESC. And this is just an extra 4-in-1 controller unit for, it's a mixture of speed gyro control system. It's a little typo here. Let's see if that, yeah, it's a typer, typo. You do switch it dials and your LED. But we're not going to set up to this even though it uses the right connector. Let's try it anyway. Okay, it's powered on. So we're just going to do it for this one for some reason. I don't know why. But let's hook it up. <laughs> Actually, it's not set it up to this one. Let's set it up to my car battery. So here's the receiver. This is the ESC. Brushless ESC. This is for... That goes into the receiver. This is the battery. So we're not going to connect the battery yet. So let's plug in our motor first. So you do blue to blue, black to black, and red to red. So blue to blue. We got black to black and red to red. Easy, simple. I'm not removing this yet. I don't know why. But... Now I don't know which one is which, so I'm just guessing here, so I believe it's like this, yeah. And then, I'm just gonna do that because I assume it's correct, so we'll have to see, wait and find out. Assuming the battery's in off position. You always want to turn your transmitter on first, because you might fry the, your servo or something like that. I'm gonna hold this just for So channel one is for the servo, and channel two, channel two is for your ESC and receiver, and then this channel one is your servo. So let's turn that on. Turn that on. Yep. See. And then motor. That's without the dual rates on for the motor. And yeah. So here's your ESC. This is how I sat it in the car. It would sit like this and then this would be right here. And then the servo would sit underneath to steer. So it'd be like this. And then that'd steer from there. This would be at the end of the car. You, that can go away. So yeah, that's a just a oh yeah, my workbench tour. Let's get you on a tour of my workbench. Bring it down. 
And if you're wondering how I got that, it's not the zoom on the camera, it's this tripod. Look. I just move this and that it goes that. So yeah. I will be going to Florida for spring break, so don't expect any videos then. Ooh, golf club. My golf clubs. That's interesting. Two laptops and a keyboard and a mouse. That's, that's the box full of crap. This is it so far. I have to clean it up. I got a camera hooked up. I mean, not a camera. Oh my gosh. I'm going insane, guys. Help. It's a computer. <laughs> Just for basic research. But I don't have internet hooked up yet. But we'll get it there. I got all my boxes for like batteries, receivers, knife, scissors, cutting utensils, screwdrivers, markers. I got like contractor bags, and then I got the uh, box for the night paper, which is sitting here right here next to my helicopter. Where's my quadcopter? It's upstairs somewhere. But hey, in May. I'm gonna be getting a couple more, a few more RC cars actually. A couple for my grandma. And a couple from my mom, my mom and dad. So, expect some more RC cars. I'm hoping they're like 1 16th scale, 1 10th scale. Instead of the 1 18th because I don't like that. And here's my current project Project Underkill. I have to work on the front diff for everything. See if we can get a light in there. Yeah. So yeah. I'm trying to I need to re gear the motor and everything, so for steering and everything. But I mean look, this is this I bought at Walmart for forty odd dollars. And look at this flex. Look at that flex. That's like a couple that's like three or four inches. Get that flex. And for 40 bucks, I got this. It has an airsoft turn on it, which I really like. It just yeah, I was really impressed when I got a box and a flex. I was rocking, I was crawling rocks. It's got that neat airsoft turn on it. I edged 43 into the duct tape. I think I did it somewhere. Nope. And it, the good thing about this is it has low gear and high gear, so it's like a Jeep. Put it in a four, it's four wheel drive, luckily. Everybody needs four wheel drive. And then, what was I gonna say? Oh my gosh, what was I gonna say? See, guys, I'm going insane. I always forget what I say. Oh yeah, if you want to pick one of these up, it's an Ignite Airsoft Justice Dealer. Night RC. I mean, I just saw it. It was allowed. Bought it. Yeah. So it's geared like a rock crawler. Amazing torque for that little motor. We we have to re-gear that. This connector pops off. See, here's the motor for the airsoft turret to move like this, and then there's an internal motor and that makes it go up and down. And steering up here. It looks like a rock crawler. I mean, like I said, it's just three wheels touching the table. Look at that flex. For Walmart, fix that. See, see, most of you guys joke around, like, you call it what? Wall Hill. My uncle calls it Wall Hill. But, you know, look at this. Wall hell ain't hell. But yeah. So that, there's none of my night vapor. I have to get tail parts for it. It's actually nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And then, what else do I have? My WL Toys, PD911. Haven't flown in a while, so I don't know. But what else do I have? Oh yeah, working on, I've been working on this computer. Took the hard drive out of it. It's my old gateway. Look at this. Box for my ladybird. Box for my WL toys. Box for the Madpoles. Computer. So yeah. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. The two laptops. I might sell these, so... 
So yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. This is this was a workbench tour on how to wire your RC cars. And so that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.